episode of Assassination Classroom, we learn the finer points of making a potent poison, the importance of language arts, and we also get to learn that the junior high school that Class 3E belongs to is filled with a lot of douchebags. Their douchebaggery will go down in anime history. This was a pretty funny episode of Assassination Classroom. What I really loved about this episode is that it really felt like we were getting two episodes. It was really divided into two halves. The first half of the episode was another introduction to another student of Class 3E, a cute, very shy girl by the name of Okuda. Okuda is very good at science. In fact, it's the only subject that she excels at, and that's because she's very anti social. She doesn't really have the ability to communicate with anybody. She doesn't really have any friends. Thus why she's been shoved into class 3E. And she tries to poison Koro Sensei. And she does it in a very funny manner. She literally just walks up to him and asks him, Koro Sensei, will you poison yourself? And he happily obliges, and we get a lot of weird, freaky transformations out of him. Some of which almost seem like they're going to be scary, and end up just being like these weird, almost chibi-eyed versions of Sonic the Hedgehog. He has a blue face, little ears which almost look like horns, and a spiky head. That's what it looks like to me. He even has one where he grows ears, and this even better one where he becomes like the T-1000 from Terminator 2. And he's like liquid metal, and he's able to move around all liquidy and everything. But what's really important about this episode, again, is that he's trying to become closer with his students and try to not only teach them important lessons in school, but lessons in life. Basically, he's teaching Okuda how to communicate with people, how to be better with language arts, how to have a better understanding with people so that you can poison them better. It's a really weird lesson because at the same time, he's trying to teach them how to assassinate him as well. He even asks Nagisa, how would you poison me? He even goes on to say, well, knowing you, I would probably try to poison you with a sweet drink and try to get you into drinking it. The second half of the episode is when you really get to see how messed up their school is because once a month, they have these big school assemblies where all the students from class 3E have to go all the way down to the mountain, all the way to the big assembly hall, and that's pretty much where everybody just walks all over them and berates them just to make fun of them. It's all part of the school's plan, which is run by this weird devious looking guy with red hair and red eyes who has not been revealed yet, but he seems pretty freaky, and his whole plan basically just revolves around the fact that a large number of the students will constantly berate Class 3E, and that will allow them to be better people in the real world. I'm not really sure what the hell this is all about, but really it leads to this really fantastic scene where you get to see that Class 3E actually has it way better than everyone else. A lot of that has to do, of course, with the fact that they have uh, Koro Sensei, but the other people like Karasuma and even Professor Bitch, who has a lot of funny scenes this week, and I was really glad to see her come back, and I'm glad that they're still calling her Bitch Sensei. However, I do like the translation of Professor Bitch. Frankly, it's just fun to say. I especially love the scene where Koro Sensei interrupted the assembly and he was dressed in his human disguise, which is an awful disguise, especially when his arms are constantly wiggling around. The episode ends with a little bit of dread and terror as Nagisa is getting picked on again by these bullies who claim they're going to kill him, except that they have no idea who they're dealing with. Nagisa doesn't even have to do anything. He just looks at them with a menacing stare and asks them if they've ever even killed anyone before. And then he just walks off like a badass. What's the rundown? On this week's episode of Assassination Classroom, a very nice sort of break episode. I really like that every once in a while they're getting to uh, introduce the different members of Class 3E because they all seem interesting. They seem to have their own problems and quirks and it seems like Koro Sensei is going to be there to work with them and make things better for them or at least push them in the right direction. And that's exactly what teachers are supposed to do. And he is an amazing teacher. Uh, this week's episode had a lot of really great animation cues, especially in the first half of the episode when Koro Sensei was going through his multiple transformation sequences. I especially love when he's getting all pumped up and powered up. It literally reminds me like out of something from Dragon Ball Z. And I really loved the scene when he transformed into liquid metal and he was melting all over the desk. It was even more creepy how he was actually sneaking into his students' desks as a liquid metal. And then he just slowly just sort of reverted back to himself when he crawled back into his robe and then his head just sort of popped out right at the top. He really has a lot of crazy powers. You know, obviously he wasn't going to create something that was going to kill him. He was just trying to teach a lesson to Okuda, which I think was really important. And that's something that we're going to see in a lot of the other episodes. 
The comedy in this week's episode was very strong. I really do believe that the comedic elements of Assassination Classroom are one of its biggest strengths outside of its ridiculous premise and its action scenes. But what I really loved about this episode is that little by little I'm noticing that I'm just forgetting about the overall premise of the series. The fact that Koro Sensei is going to destroy the Earth in one year's time. It's actually completely slipping and I'm still even remembering just like the students, this guy's actually pretty cool. He's actually a pretty cool guy. And then every once in a while it just sort of pops back in your head, oh yeah! This guy's gonna destroy Earth! It's pretty insane. And uh, I think that in and of itself makes this a really interesting show. So I thought this week's episode was pretty good. They didn't really, you know, reveal anything too crazy, but it was a nice introduction to another character and getting to learn a little bit more about the school and the introduction of the guy who kind of runs the entire place who looks real creepy as hell. I can't wait to learn a little more about that. Some little things that are kind of strange about this week's episode is the weird mascot of the school who is so hilariously passive-aggressive the way he talks about Class 3E, calling them scumbags. And I love the fact that I believe the voice actor of that character is the uh, the person who does the voice of Leo from One Piece, the little member of the Tone Tata tribe. At least that's what I think it is. They sound exactly the same. So this was a pretty high-quality episode of Assassination Classroom, which pretty much had it all. A little bit of action, a little bit of comedy, fan service, and tons of teasing for new characters. So I'm going to give this week's episode a 4 out of 5. Not a perfect one, but still a very high-quality episode of this really awesome series. Really, I just recommend this to everyone who likes anime. Me. It really covers just about every genre. Check it out, guys. Great episode. Thank you guys for watching my review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And before you guys leave, please tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Assassination Classroom. What did you think about the introduction of a new student and getting to learn a little bit more about Class 3E's junior high school? Remember, guys, if you have not subscribed to our channel, you can do that by clicking on the channel icon right up here. You guys can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter, and make sure to check out our brand new podcast show, The Powerful Nerdcast. There will be a link for the most recent episode in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. Super Kami Guru 9000. Ouch.